Welcome to another edition of Biloxi A to Z, the insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is being recorded for Friday, January 5th, 2024. The January B News has arrived. We'll take a look at the issue. The 12th night is celebrated on January 5th each year. However, whether it's caused organizers to reschedule the event, we'll have the details. You still have time to recycle your green Christmas tree. We'll tell you where you can drop off those trees and when the deadline is. Changes are in store for the council member spot in Ward 7. We'll take a look at what is next. And we'll take a look at the weekend forecast and some events taking place in Biloxi this weekend. We begin with the January B News Monthly. The issue has arrived in Biloxi mailboxes and is available for everyone to view online. The issue includes an overview of the new events ordinances, a fireworks reminder, details on the new ambulance service soon to roll in Biloxi, a look at the new Harrison County property tax statements, a look at Mayor's Youth Council, a reminder of the importance of smoke detectors, and a list of Mardi Gras parades. The January issue also includes a stroll downtown, an overview of the Mississippi Coast Historical and Genealogy Society, a look at sports from the Biloxi Shuckers and the Biloxi Youth Soccer League, the infrastructure report, random notes, the community calendar, and the history field back in the day column. You can see the newsletter online by going to biloxi.ms.us and by clicking here, or go directly to the newsletter at biloxi.ms.us forward slash bnews. The annual 12th night celebration set for tonight has been rescheduled to Wednesday, January 10th. The event will still take place from 5.30 to 9 p.m. at Biloxi City Hall on Mew Street. The event is free to attend and will be accompanied by a bonus First Friday event. A graduation ceremony was held at the Biloxi Fire Department on Thursday afternoon. Eight firefighters received their badge and helmets during the ceremony, which was held at the Biloxi Visitor Center. It was accompanied by their family, friends, and other firefighters. Biloxi's newest firefighters received a combined total of nearly 600 hours of training. The Biloxi City Council held its first meeting of the year on Tuesday evening at Biloxi City Hall. During the meeting, the council accepted the resignation of Nathan Barrett, who served in Ward 7, and he was elected to the Harrison County Board of Supervisors. At the next City Council meeting set for January 16th, the council is expected to vote on a special election to be held on February 27th to fill the vacant seat of Ward 7. To see the recordings of the City Council meeting, visit the City's website, click here, then Click here. And those interested in recycling their green Christmas trees have until January 13th to drop off the tree at the Rodenberg Avenue parking bay on Beach Boulevard. Remember to remove all the decorations, lights, and stands before depositing the tree. After the rain tonight, chilly temperatures are expected this weekend with daytime highs about 60 degrees under sunny skies. And then the evening lows drop into the mid-40s under mostly cloudy skies. The Salvation Army Croc Center hosts the annual Frosty Croc Run Saturday beginning at 8.30 a.m. Runners and walkers will have three options to choose from. One mile, a 5K, and a 10K, which will take participants from the Golden Nugget over the Biloxi Bay Bridge and back. For more information, visit crocmscoast.com. The Mississippi Sea Wolves are back on the ice as they square off with the Baton Rouge Zydeco's Friday and Saturday night, and then the Blue Ridge Bobcats on Sunday at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. For game times, visit mscoastcoliseum.com. And of course, the Ground Zero's Blues Club's lineup includes award-winning blues artists performing throughout the weekend. Tickets to this event and all the events mentioned are available by visiting the various venues' websites. And to see a list of what's happening throughout the month, check out the new Biloxi community calendar in the January issue of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking right here. We leave you today with some purple, green, and gold as carnival season begins in Biloxi. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again next week.